Hello children. Let us meet some children and see how they reach school. Bamboo bricks or collect some bricks. Lay them on the ground in a line as shown in the picture. Try walking on them. Was it easy? Make a small bridge by trying by tying four or five bamboo poles together. Ask your teacher to help you now walk on your bridge. How did you feel? Did you fall down? If you walk like this a few times, you will start finding it easy. It rains so much where we live sometimes after the rain. There is knee high water everywhere but that go does not stop us from getting this to school. We hold our books on in one hand and bamboo with the other. We quickly cross the bamboo and rope bridge to reach school. Make a small bridge by tying So, do you think it would be easier to walk on this bridge barefoot or with shoes or slippers? Why? Ladakh. In Ladakh, the trolley. Every day we have to cross the river to go get to school. The river is wide and deep. There is a strong iron rope across the river. On both the sides, it is tied high tightly with strong trees on rocks there is a trolley an open box made of wood attached with the rope four or five of us sit in the trolley a pulley helps the trolley to move across the rope we reach the other side of the river in short time let us do observe pictures one two and three Object pictures 1 and 2 in the pictures. Children are pulling the buckets from the well. Can you tell the difference in both the pictures? Which would be easier using the pulley or not using it to left things? So look around you. Where all do you see use of pulleys? List them with the help of a pulley. Try and lift various things as shown in the picture. Cement bridge. We often need to go across some water body so we use bridges. These are made of cement bricks and iron rods. The bridge may also have steps. How is this bridge different from bamboo bridge? So these bridges are totally different with bamboo in respect to they are stronger than the bamboo bridge. How many people do you think can across bridge at on time? You have seen now how children can use different kinds of bridge to across the rivers and other uneven areas to reach school. If you had a chance, which bridge would you like to use and why? Do you have a cross any bridge on the way to your school? If yes, what is the bridge like? Find out from your grandparents what kind of bridges were there when they were young. Is there any bridge near your house? Find out more about the bridge. Where is the bridge over water, over a road, between two mountains or somewhere else? Who all uh, use the bridge? Is it used by people on foot and also by vehicles and animals? Does the bridge seem to be old or is it new? Find out what materials are used in making this bridge. List some of them. Draw a picture of the bridge in your notebook. Do not forget to draw the train, vehicle, animals or people who cross the bridge. Imagine what difficulties there would be if the bridge was not there. Let us find out some other ways by which children go to school. Vellum. Vellum in some parts of Kerala, we use a vellum. Vellum is a what? Vellum is a small wooden boat to reach school. Have you seen any other kind of boats? Can you think of other ways by which we can travel on water? Have you ever sat in a camel cart or horse carriage or tonga? 
where did you climb on it yourself or did someone help you how did you feel riding in a cart also see your experience in the class also we live in a desert there is a sun all around it gets very hot in the day we ride in a camel cart to reach school so here in picture you see the children those who are traveling to school by the camel cart in the rajasthan another one way that is bullock cart we ride in our bullock cart going slowly through the green fields if it is too sunny or raining we use our umbrellas this is the picture of village in the plains do you have bullock carts where you live does it have a roof what kind of wheels do they have make a drawing of the cart in your notebook bicycle ride we ride our bicycles on the long road to school sat first girls here did not go to school because it was too far but now groups of 7 8 girls easily ride even through the difficult roads can you ride a bicycle if yes who taught you to ride how many children come on bicycle to your school jugar what a vehicle look at our special transport it sounds foot 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 when it runs is it not something special the front looks like a motorcycle but the carriage at the back is made out of planks of wood this is a picture of gujarat do you have such vehicles in your area do you, what do you call them in your area would you like to ride in something like this why can you tell why it is called jugard the jugard has been made by using waste materials they don't you also try to make something by why don't you also try to make something by putting together some waste material can you think a place where none of these vehicles can reach yes there are such places children cross the jungle we have to go through a thick forest to reach school at some places it is so thick that even sunlight does not pass through it is also very silent there you can only hear the sounds of different birds and other creatures have you ever been a thick jungle or any such place write your experience in your notebook can you recognize some birds by their sounds can you imitate the sounds of some birds do it moving on the snow see how we reach school we go to school through miles of snow we hold hands and walk carefully if the snow is soft our feet sink into it when the snow is frozen we may slip and fall have you ever seen so much snow where is film saw somewhere else This is the picture of northern hills. So how children are going school? Do you think that such places have snow all the time? Why? This is the picture of Uttarakhand, rocky paths. We live in the mountains. The paths are rocky and uneven. The children who live in the plains will find it difficult to walk on these, but we can easily race up and down. no matters whether there is a dense forest farms mountains or snow on the way we manage to reach school do you face difficulties on the way to your school which is the best month in which you like to go to school and why see me walk go to a ground or an open space with your friends at the way you will walk in these situations The ground is made of soft and smooth rose petals. The ground is covered with thorns and there is tall grass on the sides. The ground is covered with snow. Was there a difference in the way you walked catch time? Discuss this. So this was the explanation of the lesson. Now I hope you understood this very well. So thanks for watching thanks for learning